Put the key in the car, turn the ignition, and listen to the Mutual Audio Network. The following audio drama is rated G for general audience. This episode of Bells in the Bathory was originally released August 10th, 2010. Arnie, I have got to admit, this is quite a turnout, especially for the viewing of a documentary film. Oh, yes, well, everybody would be greatly interested in this particular movie, and that's why we put out a whole lot of press releases and posters. Did you see that one over there? Well, let me take a look at it. Uh, free, that's always a good way to start. Lady Gaga and Justin Bieber meet in a cage match for the championship of the world. What is what is that? Keep, keep reading, keep reading, keep reading. Or a documentary film about Ogopogo. That's the one we opted for, but keep it on the down low, okay? Shh, nobody should know. Yeah, I think, Arnie, for the sake of the podcast, we need to back up just a little bit. Oh, okay, hold on. Let me back up over here. Is this far enough? Arnie. I'm in the concession stand now. Uh. Arnie, we need to catch people up and oh tell them why oh, we're oh, 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 here. Oh, some background information like yeah. where we are and what we're doing yeah. and that sort of stuff. That's right. Do you want to handle that? <laughs> Certainly. I think I'll handle that. Everybody can get to me. Hello, everybody. We're currently in the beautiful city of Kelowna, British Columbia in Canada. We came here at the request of Kate Eels, one of our listeners. And according to the letter, there are orchards and vineyards. Big Greek apple juice. Biking and hiking trails. I haven't seen Lance Armstrong. And since this is the Okanagan Valley... Did I say that right? Yes, Valley. Right. Uh, there are mountains also. Biggins. And there's Okanagan Lake. And best of all, <laughs> they have Ogopogo, the lake monster. Yeah! And that's what got you started thinking, isn't it, Arnie? Yeah, actually, Brad came up with the idea. He thought maybe we could make a lot of money off of it. But it appealed to my artistic instincts. Your what? Artistic instincts. Your autistic restrinks. I need to do stuff that's artsy smartsy. Ah, so you decided to make a documentary about the Ogopogo monster. Exactly. And having never made a documentary before, I thought this would be a good time for me to... Yeah, hello. Uh, yeah, hello. Is this like uh, Arnie Cunchball? Yes, it is. Yeah, listen, uh, this isn't the first documentary you've done. Like, uh. you did one, uh, like a ripoff of March of the Penguins uh, a couple of years ago. And you computer generated all the animals, which got you into trouble. And- I'm very happy with my long distance service right now. Thank you very much. Bye bye. Fans. So you decided to shoot this documentary? Hmm? About Ogopogo. I go Pogo? Ogo Pogo, the monster oh, in the lake. Oh, oh, yes, 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 I did. I shot it, and, and, and now we're having the big premiere. Well, great. Let's go in and watch it. There's one teeny winky little bitty problem. What? My editor hasn't finished editing it yet. You mean the film isn't finished yet? Oh, it's finished. It's not all edited together. That's all he's working on it right oh, now. What are you going to show all these people in the auditorium? They're going to sit there and wait for the film to be edited? I have a brilliant idea, Mr. Bill. I have a brilliant idea. Here, let me go out on stage. Ladies and gentlemen, thank you. Thank you for all coming tonight for this big occasion. Uh, Lady Gaga and Justin Bieber, Bieber, Booper are in the back getting dressed. Yes, they're putting on their wrestling togs. <laughs> yes, thank you. Thank you. And in the meantime, I thought uh, that we all have a good old-fashioned sing-along. Yes, it's sing along here. I'll get it started. Ready? Okay, here we go. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes, everybody. She'll be coming round the mountain when she comes. Just the guys. She'll be coming round the mountain. She'll be coming round the mountain. Now the girls. She'll, She'll be, be coming, coming round the mountain when she comes. She'll be driving six white horses with. Ow! Okay, I'll, I'll be right back. This could be going better, couldn't it, Mr. Bell? Yeah, yeah, you need to do something. You need to do something right now, Arnie. Oh, Mr. Bell, I gotta get the final edited version of my documentary up on that screen or I'll be in trouble. All right, Arnie, where is the guy who's editing it? Where is he right now? He's over there, Mr. Bell, in that room. You see that closed door over there? Yeah, the one with the big sign on it that says, if you open this door, you die? Yeah, just open that door and go on in. Oh, no, you don't. Mr. Bell is a very friendly, patient guy. He's in there editing. I just need to know when it's gotta be ready. Go, 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 I'm going, I'm going. Oh, boy. Excuse me, I... You'll die! Oh, look, look, I'm, I, I'm not Arnie. I'm, I'm just here to ask... 
how it's going. You ask me how it is going? Yes. You want to know how it is going? Yeah. It is not going! Why? I am a film editor. Uh-huh. Do you see any film in here? Well, no. All I see are little computer things with little zeros and ones. I don't see any film. Oh. I have scissors, I have glue, and I don't have anything to use them with. So you've never digitally edited video before? I don't even know what that means. Uh-huh. All I have been doing is pressing buttons at random yeah. and moving little things around. Right. And he wants me to edit this yeah. thing and they've got the cloud in here and I don't what? know what I'm doing. Okay, okay. Well, 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 somehow you have burned it onto a CD here. I have? Yeah, you've done something. Then I am a genius! <laughs> and I am out of here. You, you give the CD to that weird little man with the funny face. I am gone. I am never coming back again. I hope that he is happy. I will be sending him a beer. That's a closet. I don't care! All right, everybody, we're ready for the big show. Is everybody here ready? All right, here it is. What you been waiting for? My documentary. The Ogo Pogo Project, a Narni Cunchpard production. Read this part. It's very important. Where? Where? Here. Oh, this part? Yes, right here. Okay. Go ahead. Be sure to pick up your Ogo Pogo merchandise in the lobby as you leave. Perfect. You big old my... Perhaps the earliest mention of the Ogopogo was the story of a man in 1860, Mr. John McDougall, leading horses that were swimming across the lake near Rattlesnake Island. Here is a recreation of that event using top Hollywood-like actors. Well, here I am, John McDougall, crossing the lake near Rattlesnake Island with my horses so I can get home to Mrs. McDougall. So we can go get some hamburgers at McDougal's. Yes, come along, horsies. Come along. Let's not dawdle. Hey, 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 stop yanking on my rein. You think it's easy to swim in this horse suit? At least you're in the front part of the suit. There, there, horsies. I will get you safely across. I will get you safely across. I will get you. Oh, the wind suddenly. Winnie, Winnie, something is pulling me under. What could it be? Maybe. No, really, something is pulling me under. Brad? My foot's waterlogged. Ah, uh, perhaps there is a monster under the surface. You're pulling me under, Brad. I can't unzip the soup. Perhaps it is the Ogopogo. Quick, use the emergency release. Where is it? What is it? Oh, my tail. Did the Ogopogo let me die true? I got out. I'm free. Then let go of me. Well, I would, but I can't swim. Go for crying out loud. Let you pulling me under now. You will not have drowned in vain, my no. brave horses. I shall alert everybody to the Ogopogo legs. Arnie, will you forget your lines and throw us a line? No, of course, a lifesaver. Spearmint, okay? Just help us get us out okay. of And thus was the earliest confirmed possible maybe sighting in a way of the Ogopogo. <laughs> Of that crowded bowling alley. Here with a woman who claims that the Ogopogo broke up her marriage. I'm not exactly sure how, but I think it involves the Jerry Springer show. Anyway, ma'am, after the Ogopogo broke up your marriage, what happened? The cowardly monster slipped into the water. Yes. Where I couldn't get it anymore. I see. <sighs> So I wait. Wait. And I'm still waiting for it to reappear. Uh Uh-huh. Even though it's been ten years. Wow. Ten. Ten what? Long years. Oh, yeah, that's right. When it shows up again, I'll be here. I quietly wait for when it gets up out of the water. Uh Uh-huh. And starts wandering this way. Ooh. Close enough. Ooh. And slowly, I turn step. Uh, boy, step. Lady, you're coming to... Inch by lady, inch. Lady. And I'll grab it and Ow! shake it back right down the head. Box his ears. Smash it. Cheap chop chicken feathers. Feet like a permit to down here. 
typical average Canadian couple had to say. Hey, I saw Ogopogo when I was fishing a boot three kilometers offshore. Hey, a boot a year ago. Hey, it had three humps and was a boot 35 meters long. Hey, that's a boot 100 feet, I believe. Hey, hey, hey. and it had a huge horse's head, a boot the size of a couple of school buses. Hey, that's a boot 50 feet. Hey, it was a boot the scariest thing I have ever seen, uh, next to my mother-in-law. Hey, 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 he ran home in a boot 10 seconds, and it's a boot a kilometer away. Hey, hey, hey. What are these people talking about? Why are they obsessed with boots? Why do they want to kill a meter? And could organized crime be involved because of that giant horse's head? Exactly is the Ogo Pogo. Ogo Pogo. Slowly I turn. Whoa, 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 whoa. Step no. by step. No, no, don't, don't, don't. Inch by inch. Okay. Then I'll whack it on the head. I'll kick it in the paper. I'll turn it into Ogo Pogo sushi. Three, two, one, zero. American flag on the moon. Attacking! I'll go Pogo is attacking! Oh, no. run, run, run. Honey, I don't see anything and I don't hear anything. You see the big green screen? Uh -huh. Well, that's what we'll put I'll go Pogo in later. Oh, what about the sounds? They'll add that when they edit this. <laughs> don't forget to pick up your souvenirs in the lobby. I'll go Pogo, you're a mystery. Neither Shag or Scooby Doo could set the real truth free. Could you be a beaver splashing, a pleosaur or frog? You could be the missing link, or just a soggy log. One thing that I know is certain, wherever you may roam. Pogo, Pogo, your name is quite the palindrome. Ogo Pogo fans, if our movie has delighted Please buy all our stuff, but don't make counterfeits. The Ogo Pogo logo's copyrighted. Mr. Bell, I don't think they like it. What makes you say that? Ooh, the fact that they're trying to get over here to tell us. Well, Arnie, you did sort of promise him one thing and give him another. I gave him something better. I only see one way out of this. Oh, you don't mean... You gotta give him Justin Bieber battling Lady Gaga in a cage match. Where in the world am I gonna find a Justin Bieber at short notice? Hi there. Anybody here want to buy some kitty camper cookies? Not right now. We're trying to think of somebody that's youthful and could get away with it. Hey! Hey! Do you know who Justin Bieber is? Yeah, he's that little kid that sings. Yes, yes. And how would you like to, uh... To, uh... How can I phrase this? Should you fraud a bunch of homicidal people by imitating Justin Bieber in a cage match against Lady Gaga? That's a good way to put it. Oh, boy, sure. Excellent. All right, you got your Bieber. Now we just need a Lady Gaga. We need a, a female person who's yeah, confident, confident and, and outspoken. And, and outspoken and... and, and, and you, you go, go ask, ask Miss Schmackelheimer. No, you go ask Miss Schmackelheimer. No, I enjoy breathing. You go ask Miss Schmackelheimer. Well, no, I'm going to get this Justin Bieber ready for the stage. You go ask Miss Schmackelheimer and hurry up. All right, all right. She's down here in this temporary office. I don't know how I'm going to do this. I don't know how I'm going to convince her. She won't even make coffee for crying out loud. Miss Schmackelheimer? This is Miss Schmackelheimer, Miss Sadie Schmackelheimer. Arnie and I need somebody to imitate Lady Gaga in a wrestling cage match because of some scheme that Arnie had, and I just wonder if you would please not kill me for asking you. Sure, I could do that. It'd be fun. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the main event. In this corner... Weighing 98 pounds, Justin Bieber! Hi, everybody. I expect every single one of you to buy a box of Justin Bieber Kitty Camper Cookies. And in this corner, weighing a classified amount, Lady Gaga! 
is a little, um, yeah, it's a little revealing and pitches in all the wrong places. So, uh, okay, let's get it on. <laughs> and now, like our sponsor, Kitty Camper Cookies, let's get ready to crumble! My poker face? You're gonna cry like a baby. Uh, I'm, uh, no, no, oh, oh, I'm gonna chase you down until you love me. Paparazzi! Uh, uh, ow! Uh, take this. Uh, ow! Uh, ow! Uh, ow! Oh, blocking those big wild eyes. You know, you and me could write a bad romance. Ow, uh, ow. Uh, uh, let go, let go. Uh, 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 it's like a headlock on me. All I need is one time, and there'll be one less lonely girl. Ooh, la, la, ro, ma, ma, ra, ma, la, 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 ooh, la, la. Not your bad romance. Okay, I'm done. Sorry. This is John Bell thanking you for listening to this episode of Bells in the Battery. Got some credits here. The Canadians, who all made up their own dialogue. The Slowly I Turn Girl was Becky Beach. And the couple was Dale and Jim Hingle. Who's swimming round Lake Okanagan Hiding from everybody he sees Who's diving deep so no one will find him You know it's Ogopogo the Kitty Camper Girl and Miss Schmackelheimer, portrayed by Gene Williams and Cindy Taylor. The love theme from the Ogopogo Project, sung by Jolene Roxbury, who also wrote and sung the music you're hearing under the credits right now. Who's swimming round Lake Okanagan, hiding from everybody he sees? Who's diving deep so no one will find him? You know it's Ogopogo. You have been listening to episode 110 of Bells in the Bat Free. All contents are copyright 2000 10. by John Bell. No copying or rebroadcasting is allowed without express permission from John Bell, which he actually gives pretty freely. He just likes to know beforehand who is using his stuff. Join us again next time. Hello, I'm John Bell of Bells in the Bat Free. It's a comedy podcast. Fridays and every other Sunday. Well, anyway, back in episode five of Bells in the Bat Free, we introduced the cowlets, tiny little cows. Where did all these cats come from? They're not cats, they're cows, and they're heading toward the water cooler. Stop it before... Now you can display your love of these tiny cows with genuine cowlet t-shirts. You know what's really fun to do with these shirts? Get a whole bunch of people to buy them. Then you all gather together and run down the street. People will see these cowlets coming toward them and think it's a stampede. You think that would really work, Brad? Shh, I'm pushing for bulk sales here. You can also get cowlet mugs, clocks, and other items. Just go to thebatfree.com and click on shop. This is a limited time offer. No, it's not. You just do not not understand advertising, do you? Get your merchandise today with the official Cowlet design created by Jeff Music. Buying lots of them would bring music to my ears. Oh, stop. Stop.